It may seem surprising, but cardiac surgeries have been performed around the world since the 19th century. It is only in the last few decades that breakthrough technologies have been used to repair and replace ailing hearts. Sula Hajigiriaku from CYBC tells us about one of the latest techniques used by Cypriot doctors. We all know that health is wealth and medical issues are usually of interest to everyone. Heart problems are usually a matter of life or death. And most of us have experienced sometimes in our lives similar situations either for ourselves or for our friends or relatives. So it's worth knowing of the latest developments on this field. It's also worth appreciating the fact that small countries like Cyprus can practice the latest developments in this sector, like the story you're going to watch now. 60-year-old lawyer Creton Papaloizou has gone through seven angioplasties so far. He had his first heart attack when he was 46. The first five angioplasties were performed through the leg, which is the usual approach. The last two were done through the wrist. He says the wrist method makes the whole difference in the world and he will never go back to the traditional procedure. Apart from the suffering of going through a heart attack, one has to face the hardship of having a catheter threaded through the groin and the recovery period, which means lying in bed for hours with a heavy pressure on the leg resembling a stone or a sandbag. I could not tolerate this. Angioplasty is used to restore blood flow in a clogged artery. A tiny balloon is inflated at the site of the blockage to break up the clock, while a tube called a stent is often inserted to keep the artery open. Many cardiologists work through an artery in the leg, but a growing number of doctors are turning to the wrist method. The American Heart Institute in Nicosia has been working exclusively in this field. During the last two years, 1,750 patients underwent angioplasty. 97% of them were treated through the wrist and only 3% through the leg. Doctors at the Institute see only advantages with the wrist method. Now that this method uh, for opening the arteries with stents has become so advanced, there are less complications on the heart. Most complications are for bleeding from the leg. So doing it from the wrist reduces the risk of this procedure even more. In fact, the risk of bleeding is zero. We had a chance to see the benefit of the wrist surgery firsthand. 68-year-old John Dunn had already undergone angioplasty twice through the leg. He felt grateful his third time was through the wrist. We asked him how he is feeling. A lot better, 100% better. And did you know about this method of using the wrist? No, before? I did not. And it is far superior to, to the groin. Why do you think? Uh, less stress. Um, well, basically far less stress, less painful and no problem afterwards. The wrist process certainly seems easier for the patient, but harder for the surgeon. So doctors need to be trained well to practice it. Sula Hajikiriagu from CYBC for Wealth Report. Just like these cardiologists in Cyprus, doctors worldwide are trying to use the least invasive surgical methods, right? And that's true for surgeons in the Chinese city of Guangzhou who are treating patients with hyperthyroidism. Heather Gu of Guangzhou Television met with one patient who traveled quite a long way to get help. Good morning. Good morning. Any pain? No, no, no more. Pain. It's all no fine. Fever. No fever. Okay, do you feel much better? I feel much better. Okay. okay, thank you. 54-year-old Renee Stella is from California. She has been suffering from Graves' disease for over two years. The symptoms include weight loss, heat intolerance, palpitation and thorough enlargement. In her battle against the illness, Stella visited many doctors around the U.S. However, due to her rare allergy reaction to some medicines, Stella was told doctors could not do anything to help her. No, I've never expected to travel especially this far uh, to get any kind of help. I thought America would be able to help me. I was surprised that they cannot help me. 
Thanks to an article published at the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, Stella found out about Professor Xiao Haipeng, an author and deputy director of the first affiliated hospital of Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou. She is allergic to all antithyroid drugs, and she is also allergic to beta blockers. Since hyperthyroidism is not well controlled, and so surgery is very contraindicated. So we use the embolization therapy to embolize two or three thyroid artery. Artery embolization is a minimally invasive surgery which has been done in China for over 10 years. It is estimated about 40 people have been cured in Guangzhou with this method. With a small cut on the leg's artery, the patient has some of his or her vasculars embolized to partially cut off the blood supply to the thyroid. It's a much safer procedure compared with traditional surgery without life-threatening side effects. Stella has now recovered from the procedure and is thinking of promoting this new therapy when she returns to the U.S. She is confident that more patients could benefit from the international exchange of medical expertise. This is Manifu with Guangzhou Television China for CNN World Report. Hypothyroidism is not a rare illness, but what's rare was why had this American woman come so all the way to China for treatment. That's what made me so interested in the story. And through my interview with the patient and Dr. Xiao, I found out international communication in medical expertise provides hope for many desperate patients who can find out easily on the internet about the latest therapy that might save their lives. Heather, your story is a good example of the powerful nature of communication, how a simple research article changed the life of one person. And we hope that through this platform, we multiply positive options for others as well. Still ahead, we make our way into the kitchen. For all of you lovers of fast food out there, how about steamed sticky rice on the run? You can get it in Vietnam. And... Oh, look at that. Two eggs for the price of one, and it's not a sale. You're definitely not seeing double. We'll explain after a short break.